Yeah, got up early today, it's about 9.30 and uh, it's going to be another scorcher today. Managed to get this one um, back up, but I reckon it's going to flop again, fellas, but I'll try and keep it watered, but um, yeah, I don't know. They're either going to get really tough or they're going to be, yeah, going to be punished. If they get through Friday, you know, t today and tomorrow, I'll be very surprised, but I reckon they're going to go really dark purple event yeah purple and then go back to red you know after about a month or so but uh, yeah this one seems to be the um the winner and also i've noticed something too it has a smell that's not naphthalene it's more akin to anthracene anthracene is that right you know the other triple benzene ringed uh, compounds or things so uh, yeah it's interesting i don't know why you know, whether it's something because it's being flushed out from the charcoal and it's reacting. I uh, don't know, but um, I just thought I'd make note of that. And, of course, this was the one, only one that had obvious pinking with the, um, as far as we know, with the perlite. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to have to water those soon. But in the last few rays of the, um, the sun uh, yesterday, that was thinking quite well but it seems to have gone backwards I don't know whether because the sun was sh shining through it but that was amazing so that one's took from Sunday to Wednesday to pink or sort of it's more like a orangey pink isn't it um, that one there this one basically one day so you know hard boiled egg seems to be better in that respect but today what I'm trying to do I thought well why don't I make some hard-boiled egg uh, polystyrene perlite sort of up but I want to get some quantitative data back you know how much do I mix you know so um, I'm just going to see I think I may have to put this on spot colour and I don't know probably but uh, hopefully, hopefully this won't want I've probably got to put something underneath this other leg so hang on just a minute there we go is that, that alright it's a bit hang on a bit skew with it allow us to go that way. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna get my gonna get my eggs like this, and I'm gonna take a couple out, and I'm gonna try and what we can do is float some of these in a in a container of water and uh, find out, you know, roughly how much it is. But hang on, I'm just gonna break this egg. And what I want to do is, um, yeah, without getting the shell in there. if best we can is I want to get up to the line fellas so uh, you know get up to this sort of I don't know this line so it looks like it's going to be either three or four eggs is going to give us up to the line so that's what I want to do so basically uh, I don't know maybe we need to take uh, Take the camera down, I think, because uh, we don't want to know. So, so there you go. If I can get in there, I don't know how far I can get. If I, if I can actually go in there, no, I can't. But uh, yeah, anyway. So there's the eggs in there, and what I'm trying to show you is I'm trying to get up to the line there, so we can have. Because I know that's 100 mils, you see, and so I think three eggs is not enough. So I'm going to go for. I'm gonna go four. It's near as damn it, fellas. Four is so close, it's not funny. So I'll just get all these shells out of the way. And uh, this is a hot day. And uh, I'll put the rest of the thing, rest of the eggs back in the fridge. And then we'll get on to the next stage. Which is here. Might as well get onto it now. Put this back on the... Uh, it's an eight minute clip, so I think we, if we're quick, we can just get this bit, bit done anyway. So what I'm going to do now, which I should have shown you here, is I'm going to get some of this polystyrene. I don't even see that. I'm going to get some of this, this polystyrene we've got. If we can, sorry. So I'm going to get some of this, and now I'm just going to go back the other way. If we can, uh, oh, oh no, 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 there we go. You'll be in the shot, yeah, but not quite. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, uh, maybe we can go down a bit, hang on. Slowly go down, I don't know. We can slowly go down, that would be better. Okay, so we're still in shot? Yeah, sort of. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here and mix it around and see how much poly I need to actually add to make Actually, I think it's going to be like, it feels like three handfuls will do it. So basically four eggs, three handfuls of, of poly. Now, what we want to do next is do the same with some perlite. And so, no, I think it's actually almost, fellas. I think it's actually going to be one to one. It's going to be four eggs and four handfuls of poly. So, uh, and then um, we'll do the same with some um, some perlite. And uh, then we'll um, put it in the microwave and we'll um, We'll zap it and make it hard boil, and then I'll transfer this to a container that has a uh, flyaway base to it. Or maybe make up two, because we want to try and keep it wet to see what happens. But uh, yeah, I think that's right. One to one there, looks like, because it's going to be hard boiled, don't forget. So um, we don't want to get it too hard. So I'll do that now with, might as well do it now. Because we're making a bit of perlite. So we'll get my remaining perlite here. Yeah, like two bags of perlite. I think I might just have enough to do, um, you know, a, a, a trial run anyway. So, so that's what we'll see. Otherwise, I'll have to go down and get another bag. So, I'll just gotta one, two, three, four, and I'll add another four eggs, and uh, we'll see how we go. It's just the initial quantitative experiment. Well, once you get it done, um, you know, we won't have to ever do it again, sort of thing. Um, sort of thing. Sort of thing. Okay. Do it once. Find out whether the idea is there and whether it will work. One more, and we'll be there. And hopefully this will grow the red organism throughout, so we'll see how we go. But, uh, see, I get the impression we might actually need six handfuls of perlite. So it'll be 1.5 for the perlite and one to one for the poly. The poly is smaller, of course. 